and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing a huge Amazon haul. I have no idea how much I spent because this is over the course of the entire month of February, but I got tons of amazing things that I wanted to share with you. I know some of you have been asking for an Amazon haul, but not only do I have an Amazon haul, I also have a Home Goods haul and a Grove Collaborative haul that I'm going to be sharing with you today as well. So the first thing I'm going to be tackling is all of the stuff from Amazon. I got so many things and I cannot wait to share them with you. And I think some of my favorite things, let me get them on, because I think they're absolutely adorable. Oven mitts, but they're cat paws. How cute are these? Though, I don't know if they're very efficient because there's no thumbs. My friend said that I can now cook like a real cat. But like, they're really flexible and stuff, so like you can grab things with them. But I just thought these are so adorable. You can hang them up on the wall for decor. I just absolutely love cats, and I want a cat-themed kitchen. Well, not just a cat-themed kitchen. I want a cute-themed kitchen, which is why it's pink early, so. I cannot wait to hang these up. I will be doing a kitchen decorate with me video sometime in the near future. I'm just grabbing bits and pieces off of Amazon and things to just kind of go with the theme I want. Finding tons of cute things is very difficult. So if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. The next thing, cat paw sponges. Look how cute these are. This side is abrasive and scrubby and then this side is textured. I'm also saving these for when I do my kitchen decorate with me. Once again, if you have any cat ideas or just anything cute in general, I love like the whole Japanese kawaii thing. I love pastels and I want my kitchen to resemble that because that's my happy place besides my office and clearly it kind of came over to this side too. The next thing I bought was this wireless keyboard. It is in a rose gold color. It is Bluetooth. It takes two or three AA batteries. I think it says two on it. And it just connects to your computer. It connects to your computer through Bluetooth. I have not used it yet because I bought the wrong stand. And because I'm on medication that makes my eyes a little bit blurry, I kind of just throw those off to the side and use the stand because it is closer. I don't have a desktop, I have a 12 inch screen. So the closer, the better. With the keyboard came this cute rose gold mouse. This also takes like two AA batteries up. and here is the Bluetooth chip. You just pop this open, there's the chip, there's the battery slot, chip, battery slot. And you just plug it into your computer as well and pair it up. But I'm really into like a rose gold pink theme and I'm kind of trying to get like that all in my office decorating my office still, just working on it here and there. Let me show you the stand real quick. So here's the stand. I don't use it at this high of a setting. I kind of have it to about here. That way it doesn't slide off. Like it does have a grip here, but for some reason my computer decides to like jump over it. I have no idea why. So I just kind of leave it at this setting and just have it rest on here. And like I said, I do keep it close to me because I am partially blind. I am legally blind in my right eye. I don't know how I pass my driver's test, but I am legally able to drive despite being blind. So that is all of the stuff from Amazon. The next thing I got off of Amazon is this cute, adorable, pastel -y. well, I don't think they're pastel but they're super cute. You get to decorate them, and that is reusable bubble tea cups. If you guys know me by now, you guys know I absolutely love bubble tea. This comes with four reusable cups, four lids, four storage lids, one cleaning straw, bubble tea recipe book, there is stainless steel straws as well as reusable plastic straws and bubble tea stickers. So in here, this is what the bubble tea jars look like. And if you don't want to use them for bubble tea, well, they do make good Tupperware for like soups or any kind of liquids. This is just the silicone ring you put around the lid to keep it like tight so it doesn't spill when you're like drinking bubble tea or like leak proof. And like I said, there are four of these. It came with this really cute bubble tea book. It has recipes for how to make bubble tea and just like what to do to make some of the fancy stuff. And I just think it is so cute. And on the back it has a corgi. Oh, and on the front it does too. And then because the bubble tea cups are glass, they do send you these stickers so you can decorate them yourself. They probably will come off when being washed, so wash gently. I think my favorite sticker yeah, is this cute little kitty one. Of course, <laughs> cats. I'm not gonna pull the straws out or anything because they are at the bottom of the box. And I'm assuming you guys all know what straws look like, so. And lastly from Amazon, I got an airtight food storage container. There is 24 pieces in this box. So that includes 12 containers and 12 lids. And look how cute this pink is. You guys see that? It is like so cute. Now at first I was kind of dumb and thought, hey, these don't fit on the Tupperware. But the silicone is actually a seal. 
so when putting these on, let me get one out. So when you're getting them out, at first I thought they didn't fit because there's a silicone here. When you put it on, obviously it doesn't slide on. I'm used to a couple where just kind of snapping together. You kind of have to like put it on and then you snap it closed like this. And it works on all sides. And then it's leak proof. And so it comes with 12 of these, 12 lids. And then it also comes with chalkboard labels. I have used one of these already. I did not use the labels um, just because I was kind of in a rush. I used powdered sugar and I put it in there. And then it also comes with this chalkboard pen. I am thinking about doing a pantry makeover, which is why I bought these. Kind of like to get some storage going and I have like a lot of open bags of flour and like sugar, confectioner sugar, things that could really just go in these and just kind of label them and save space. So besides that, that's all I really got from Amazon. I know that's a lot of stuff. I'm not sure how much it cost me. Like I said, I have been kind of accumulating all these things over the month of February. I'm gonna say maybe a little over $200 for just Amazon. So let's move on to the Grove Collaborative. I still can't pronounce it. The Grove Collab. And I got tons of things sent to me. And if you are interested in any of the products, do not hesitate to ask in the comments below. Everything will also be linked in the description box. There is also a link in the description box for a free five-piece cleaning set with your first $20 purchase with that link. So head over to the Grove and use natural cleaning supplies in your home. I don't even know if that was like a good selling point, but we'll just leave it for now. So let's move over to the cleaning supplies. I'm so excited to be showing you these things. <sighs> I forgot to mention another thing from Amazon. Another thing from Amazon, but it has to do with cleaning supplies, which is why I kind of forgot about it, is the Angry Mama. This is absolutely amazing. You guys, if you watched my last video, know that this helped get my gross microwave super, super clean. You fill it up with vinegar up to here and then water up to like here. There's still lines on this whole thing comes apart. And you basically steam it in the microwave for seven minutes and it literally takes all of just everything off from, I don't know, pasta splatter, popcorn, butter marks, you name it. It really, really does clean and disinfect. And when you open it up, you can even put like a lemon essential oils in this and the whole thing just smells absolutely amazing. But anyways, onto the Grove cleaning stuff now for the third time. Second time, I'll figure it out. So the first thing I got is this hardwood floor cleaner. I have not used this, but Aunt Franny is such a good product. I have this in a really nice vinegar spray. I have not smelled this yet. I'm a little bit afraid to because the vinegar spray, as much as it smells really good, it's also super strong. It's not bad. It's more lemony than vinegary. I don't think it actually has vinegar in it. Surprisingly, a lot of her products are made with vinegar, which is why I buy them. Because it's such a really good natural disinfectant. And I'm gonna criticize myself right now. I have been cleaning my sink with baking soda and vinegar. And as much as like everyone kind of knows that is kind of how you clean certain things, it's a really good disinfectant. It's good separately. You're not actually supposed to mix baking soda and vinegar because it de deactivates the cleaning stuff. Because baking soda within itself is an acid and then vinegar, no, that's the other way, but just Google it because I had no idea they just don't work together. Basically when you spray the vinegar, it de deactivates both of them, which is why I usually use baking soda first, scrub with it and then use vinegar to kind of just mix it all in. But people, I guess, are putting them in spray bottles which is super weird too, to think that people are filling up a spray bottle with baking soda and then putting vinegar in it and thinking that's a solution. But hey, if you do that, totally judging. I also got this nice hardwood floor cleaner. This is in the Smell Almond. This is from Method. And I used to have this back when I had the Method mop, but that ended up breaking. I'm not sure how I think the plastic got eroded and it fell apart. I do have the matching all-purpose wood spray. And it also is from Method in the Smell Almond and it just smells so good. They both work really well on hardwood, and I do use this with a steam mop. I don't put it in the steam mop, but I just kind of spray it on the floor and then use the steam mop over it. So if you are looking for a good hardwood floor cleaner, I would recommend the Method, and I also would recommend the Smell Almond just because that's personally my favorite, and I really think you guys would enjoy that. Next, we're gonna go with Aunt Franny's again, and these are the vinegar wipes. I'm opening it. Wow. This is what I mean, they are so strong. The vinegar is just so overpowering. They get everything so clean. These are for all surfaces, they are for healthier housekeeping, as it claims. 
and they're just so, so good. They are all natural. And it says clean without compromise, free from dyes, bleach, don't even know how to read, sulfates, fragrant, artificial fragrances, alcohols. It's just, it's really good for your house, especially if you're trying to go all natural and cleaning like I am. I try to avoid like any kind of cleaning stuff that has like a lot of harsh chemicals in it. I will use harsh disinfectants given COVID, but that is not too often. That is like maybe a twice a month thing. I'll go and just disinfect handles and use like Lysol and stuff like that. We're gonna follow that up with this. If you have pets, this is a godsend. This is Pawson's and this is an odor and stain remover and this works so good on carpets. If you have cats, you know they are gross and messy and adorable and fuzzy and lovable, but my cats like to throw up everywhere and they will go everywhere except the hardwood floor. So if you have a cat like mine, or cats since I have three, and they like to miss the hardwood floor, this is definitely a must. They do spend, they do send like a little squirt thing that goes in here. It's actually in the box here. So what you do is you just take this off and like stick this in and it comes with an instant spray bottle and it works so well on the carpets. Gets all the stains out, any kind of odor. I do have a cat that likes to like oh, scoot his butt across the carpet. It's so gross and really funny at the same time. I have to get him with, like a video of him doing it because it's just so funny. But this is well used in my house. Moving on to one of the best counter sprays. It is this one. This is the Calendre Sea Salt Norley. I have no idea how to pronounce it. So like, I don't know, it just smells super good. I use this on all my countertops. I actually ran out of this a while back and just got sent some more. So I'm super excited to have it because this is actually one of my favorites, like smell for spring. I do love using like citrus, like oranges and lemons and just things like that around the house during spring just because it smells so clean and so pleasant and <sighs> I'm just having a really mad day today. Now my face is all red. But anyway, if you are looking for a good counter spray that smells really good, this, like I said, it is sea salt. It smells so good. I'm pretty sure I smelled it like a hundred times. I'm gonna sniff it. Probably make my nose itch again. It's probably why it itches me to begin with. I don't know, I just could not explain it. I was hoping it would kind of smell like lemon since there literally is like a lemon on the package. Like if it didn't say what it was, you would assume like lemon and vanilla and like mint, but no. Um, but this does smell really good. I mentioned that like five million times. Once again, is it the Grove Collaborative if you are looking for like a good counter spray? I actually, when I first bought this, I was dumb and used it as an air freshener for the first like three weeks of owning it. I sprayed it on my curtains, on my couch, on my carpet. It worked, it smelled really good. And then I read the bottle. Um, the packaging was different when I first got this, so. Also blonde. I also got another Method antibacterial spray. This one is in the smell Wildflower. I do like this one more than the other one I have, but because that one is still a full bottle, I will be using that in my videos still. But once again, I will leave the link for this down in the description box. This one smells so pleasant. It smells like, let's see. It kind of smells like Fabuloso, the purple bottle that you kind of like dilute and use for a floor cleaner. It kills 99% of household germs made by and for people against dirt. I don't know why it has directions for you so everyone knows how to use a surface cleaner. All of these products are made from plants. They are plant-based so they are healthier than like normal cleaning products. If you are looking to go more organic or just more healthy for your household, the Grove Collaborative does have a ton of that stuff. I also have like a bunch of sponges from them. They're made from, uh, I believe it's like walnuts. One side's like abrasive, the other one's like a sponge. I mean, everyone knows what a sponge is, so, but they do biodegrade, they're easy to throw out, they don't sit in the landfills forever. And lastly, from the Grove, I do have to warn you about this. This smells so strong. I almost died smelling it. I'm gonna open it and smell it again, because, wow. It's, sm <laughs> it is spearmint. <laughs> it doesn't smell like spearmint. Um, I haven't used it yet. I've never used this product, but I am looking forward to, to trying it out. Maybe with a nose plug. Um, but the smell means it's working, hopefully. So I cannot recommend this or not rec like I cannot recommend this or recommend this product just because I have not personally tried it. When I do, I will let you guys know in that video whether or not I like it. Um, if a product doesn't smell good to me, I usually try not to use it. 
because I'm bougie that way and I like things that smell really good and really florally. But once again, it kills 99% of household germs, cleans and disinfects. Like I said, it is smear mint and is an antibacterial toilet bowl cleaner. I believe this was like five or six dollars germ buster. But yeah, um, that's the last object I have from the growth collaborative. Still can't pronounce it, but we'll be able to. And another thing, I just looked on my floor and realized there's another thing from Amazon. So let me show you that real quick. And you're probably gonna laugh because it is so extra and it's a cat toilet, like toilet bowl cleaner. It's ceramic. Um, this was about $20, but it was so cute. I had to have it. And this just kind of sits in the back. I haven't used this yet, so don't worry. I was waiting to do a bathroom makeover. I'm debating whether I should decorate it for St. Patrick's Day or not. And it just kind of has like this clip right here. And you just sit it in and it hangs out there if it's not crooked. There. But isn't that cute? Look how cute it is. I'm just gonna look around my room real quick to make sure that I didn't forget anything from Amazon because that was two things so far that I forgot I bought, which probably means I really didn't need them. So yeah, that is everything from Amazon. Let's move on to the home goods haul. Uh, I did get a lot. I did get a ton of Easter stuff. A ton I use very over exaggeration y, whatever, whatever word that was. But the first thing I got, and it matches my kitchen perfectly, were these beautiful kitchen cloths. They have like flowers like with sewn into them. They have these cute little frillies. And they are so, so soft. These cost me about $7. There's the price on them. That's a good thing about these stores is they leave the prices on them. So then I can tell you how much they were. There are two and for the quality of them, they're Turkish cotton, 100%. These are gonna look great in my kitchen. If you guys wanna see like a kitchen makeover, let me know down in the comments below. I am planning on decorating for Easter. Once again, I didn't find any St. Patrick's Day stuff so I'm a little bit disappointed and Amazon is kind of a bit expensive right now. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see me decorate for St. Patrick's Day too, or if I should just go straight to Easter. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys want to see. Next, I got this really cute bunny table runner. It just has like this pattern of bunnies. This is, it is 14 by 53 inches, and it was $15. But I just thought it was so cute. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter in the fabric. But I am so excited to decorate my table with this. I'm just waiting on you guys. St. Patrick's Day or Easter? Let me know. <laughs> this isn't going to go all the way around my table unless I turn it to go the short way instead of like not this way but like this way. Because my table is, I believe it was 41 by 61 inches. So this definitely isn't going to fit the long way. Next, and this is a little bit extra is it's a bunny thing. Isn't this so cute? I cannot wait to put this somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. I might put it on my microwave. Oh no. Oh, it's a tag. I thought it was peeling. I almost had a heart attack. This was at $6 in taxes, and I just had to get it because the bunny was so cute and the cool was just so cute too. It's a bunny thing. I'll probably put this in my daughter's room once Easter is over because she really likes bunnies. We used to have a bunny. If you're interested in learning more about Siri, there are videos. Earlier on in my channel, she did pass away, but she was still an amazing rabbit, so those videos are worth watching. <laughs> and once again, this is a little bit extra, and they were about $5. These are salt and pepper shakers, but it's a bunny and flowers. But I don't know, I'm in love with these. I think the little butterfly on the flower is super cute. Obviously, I haven't opened them yet. I was going to wash them and then fill them up and just use them for my decorate with me video. Because you guys know I used the pumpkin ones all year last year just because I love pumpkins. And then I bought some cushion ones which I've had out for a few months now because I got them in like a subscription box and clearly I like cushion. My desk is cushion. I have stuffies everywhere. You guys can't see them. Uh, let me know if you guys want a video of my cushion collection because I have counted and I have over 150 cushion things. You might be able to tell from my videos but... I'm obsessed. Now last from Home Goods, and once again I had to get it because it was so cute. It was only $8, but it was this cute little bunny bowl. I thought she was super pretty. 
that cute little rosy pink cheeks, her ears are pink. And then I thought about putting some jelly beans in here closer to Easter. So this might go on my little stand at my table with the hearts, because I am going to leave that out because it is a pastel color. And it goes great with spring as well as Easter. And just kind of use it for a decoration for a few more months. But I just thought this was so pretty. So if you are looking for like a ton of bunny things or Easter things, definitely go check out your local TJ Maxx as well as Home Goods, Marshalls might have something as well if you're from the United States. I don't know if they have those stores over like in the UK or anything, so. So that is it for today's video and for the shopping haul. Like I said, I really don't know how much I spent just because it's been so long. I kind of just accumulated these things and threw them in my office and hoped for the best. But if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I would really appreciate it, it helps my channel grow. And also leave me some comments down below on what kind of videos you're going to want to see if you want me to decorate for St. Patrick's Day or if you want me to go straight to Easter. Just definitely let me know. So, but I look forward to seeing you guys all in my Sunday video, which will be another clean with me. I'm debating on whether I should make a recipe or not, so also leave down in the comments below if you want me to make you guys something with a vegetarian recipe. I do have a really good taco bake that I love to make. Uh, there's like this veggie meat I use for it, so it's not real beef. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the buttons. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye. Don't even know your name.